Hey guys, in today's video I will show you how you can create this cool class effect in Affinity Designer. First of all we need to create a new document. I will use file and new for this. You can also use the shortcut command and n for this. And then we are just using um, the normal screen resolution of a um, HD screen, clicking on create. And we are using this with a background image. I've chosen this background image of unsplash.com. I will link you this exact image down in the description of this video if you want to use this image as well for testing. And I will copy and paste it for now. And then to start, we need to create a rectangle right here. Click on a rectangle, left click and hold. And then I will um, make it fit the um, the the screen, the document, and then I'm using shift, hold the whole shift down and making it a little bit smaller. So I have some good proportions like this. I'm, I'm selecting this little um, icon right here to move the rectangle around, moving in the middle and make sure to have um, to have snapping activated so it snaps to the middle of your image and then I will just um, do it a little bit to the sides like this and adjust again so it's in the middle. Then we can give it a little bit of some corners. Therefore we are using the corner tool right here, the corner tool right here, sorry. And then we can select all corners and give it for example 50 pixel corner and then we need to duplicate this curve right here by clicking command C and command V and also the background image command C command V. I'm zooming out a little bit and that what, then what we now have to do is we have to move this underneath curve and to the right like this and also with um, this curve right here and like this and then make sure that the curve is above the image inside the curve both so we can make it smaller like this and then for the image we have to click on effects and we have to give it a Gaussian blur I'm removing this click on Gaussian blur and give it a blur of like six to eight pixels it's about what you think looks best I'm using eight pixels now and then for the curve, click on the curve and then select G on your keyboard or go to the left and click on this tool right here, which is the um, gradient tool. Then click on here to here and create a gradient. Go to the menu bar right here and adjust this gradient. We are making color um, white, grays. We need white and then we're choosing for example 40% opacity then we're inserting a, um, a new um, a new circle where we also give the color white then give opacity for example 20% and then again um, color white and opacity 40% and then we are selecting our um, move tool again or clicking V on our keyboard as you can see um, right to move tool and then we can adjust this um, image, this cu uh, curve till we are fully satisfied by the opacity right here. So for example, we can give it 80 opacity if that's exactly how we want it to look like. And to make it pop a little bit more, to make it pop from the background, we can um, make this a little bit smaller again, click on the curve, click on effects and then give it an outer shadow, for example, 50, 50 pixels. 50 pixels and um, 315 degree angle or if you want to turn it uh, 370 that's up to you and as the um, opacity and the blur that's up to you what you want it to look like and that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye